Welcome back everyone to another episode of Mumbles. Today, I'm here to bring you guys another game review. And the game that we'll be reviewing today is This is the Police 2. Now before we get into the game review itself, I do have to ask you guys all a big favor. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. Uh, it helps me out. We've been growing like crazy and uh, I just want to keep that going. I love having new people on the channel. I love into introducing them to myself and yeah, so if you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. Now anyways, let's get to this review. This is The Police 2. It's available on Steam, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Switch. And it's available at a price on Steam, I'm just talking about the Steam price, of $14.99. Now other consoles and devices may vary, but this is a Steam price. So $14.99 on Steam at the time of this review. So what is This Is The Police 2? Basically this game is the sequel to This Is The Police number one. And you can expect if you played the first one, kind of the same type of gameplay that you got from the first one. For those of you that are new to the series though, I will give you a basic overview of what this game is about. Basically you take the role of a name, man named Jack. Now this man is a police chief and I don't want to give any spoilers away, but basically he comes upon the town of Sharpwood. Now, Sharpwood needs some help, so he decides that he's going to help out the city of Sharpwood and basically help run their police force. Now, the basic premise of this game is simply, you're a police chief and you run the city. You respond to crimes, you choose what things are going on, like who's working, what day, all that other stuff. You do all the ins and outs of basically what a police chief does each and every day in real life. So that is what This Is The Police 2 is. And I will get more into depth into that in the gameplay section. But first, we gotta talk about them graphics, them soundtracks, and them controls! So first off, graphic wise, if you played the first one, graphics are pretty much the same. Uh, they're kind of cartoonish, and they're very clear, and I really dig them myself. As you can see on the screen, they're very cool graphics. I do like them a lot. Soundtrack wise, I love the term gaming elevator music and that's kind of what this is the police 2 has it does have its moments where the soundtrack will really uh come full force and be like oh, something special is happening or oh there's footsteps or oh this or that but for the most part you can expect gaming elevator music which is just background music that is pleasing to the ears control wise again i'm reviewing the steam version so in reviewing the steam version all you really need is the mouse you click 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 to do whatever it is you need to do now let's talk about the gameplay. The gameplay in This Is The Police 2, as I said, very much so follows This Is The Police 1. So, I've talked about some of it already, but I'm gonna review some of it just because it's the gameplay section now. So, in this game, you take the role of Jack, and basically, every now and then you'll be presented with a decision, or a dialogue option which you can answer. So, for example, it might be, are you going to do A or B? Are you going to do C or D? What are you doing right now? Blah, 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 blah. They'll give you different dialogue options and you can choose. And based on that, you will have different outcomes. So it is a decision-based game and it's a very cool game. Now, gameplay-wise, like I said, the majority of the time you're going to be managing police officers. Now, what does this entail? Well, as I've already alluded to, you have to manage the ins and outs. So you have to decide each day, okay, this one, this one, and this one is working. This one, this one, this one are going to be on a day off. Um, now, oh, there's a call. Who am I sending at police-wise to go respond to this call? I'm going to send this police officer and this police officer. But what if another call happens? i got to keep these police officers to the side. Oh my gosh, another call has happened. i got to send this police officer and this police officer. I've only got two police officers left. Oh my gosh, I managed it wrong. This is the kind of things you can expect from This is the Police too. Now, in addition to just running the day-to-day -day operations of This is the Police, you also have to decide what police officer has what item. So, what do I mean by this? Basically, there's different items that each police officer can have. A baton, a stun gun, a stunner, which is just one that you stab people with and it stuns them. Uh, pepper spray, so on and so forth. And you have to decide who gets what item. Also, in addition to that, each police officer has their own ratings. So, uh, there's a couple different ratings, but there's ones like shooting, strength, sneak, speed, intelligence, and these all affect the outcomes of each and every police call that they respond to. For example, 
If your guy isn't very fast and they have to chase a criminal, the criminal might get away because you didn't send a fast cop. So these are all things you have to balance and, and really work on in order to be successful in this game. Now the new feature of This Is The Police 2 is the SWAT raids. So basically, how does this work? If you've ever played an XCOM type game, that's basically what this is. You take control of your officers and you choose where they're gonna move. So you wanna keep them behind cover as much as possible. So you move them to cover, then there's a bad guy. So you need to be stealthful and take out the bad guy. But you can choose then, do you stun him? Do you shoot at him? What are you doing? Depending on what you choose, different outcomes will happen, different things will happen, and police officers might die. So it all comes together in the SWATs and it's a really cool aspect that they added to this game. So that's really all there is to the This Is The Police 2. Uh, I do want to talk about the con section now. Con wise, the first con is story. Now, I don't mean the story in general. What I mean is when you start this game, I was starting, I'm like, man, I want to get to the actual game. So I'm going through it, I'm going through it, I'm going through it, they're talking, they're talking, they're talking, and they're talking, and talking, and talking, and talking, and they're talking. It took 20 minutes, at least, of dialogue for me to get to the first actual police management part of the game. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't care about Jack's Toilet Man or whatever is going on, I don't care. So, story-wise, there's a lot of fluff in this game that I feel they could have cut out that would have made it an overall better gaming experience. Now my second and final con is difficulty. This is really a true management type game. It's got a lot of strategy to it. If you do something wrong, such as if you don't have enough police officers to respond to police calls, you're done. You're done. So this game is very strategy-wise strategy and it's very hard. One mistake can affect you the entire rest of the game and make you lose. So it is a difficult game. That is my second and final con. So really all that's left to ask is what is This Is The Police 2 going to get on our Mumbles review? This is a fantastic game. I really like it. I love the first one. I didn't do a review on it. Maybe I'll have to do one sometime. But what I will say is I just wish it would have been, I would have wanted a little bit more from everything. So with all that in mind, This Is The Police 2 is going to get a 7 out of 10. Still a great game. If you like management type games, check it out. This is a fantastic game. I definitely recommend you check out. And yeah, guys, this has been my review of This Is The Police 2. I want to thank you guys all so much for joining me. Please smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, and smack all them buttons. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.